Right guys, Gaft is back with just a little um, note about roughing balm and roughing fluid. I've had a question about roughing balm and roughing spray. What is the difference? Does it have to be applied to two cards? Both of the faces of these cards have been sprayed with a roughing fluid. So when they go face to face and you apply a bit of pressure, the cards will stay together as one card. But if you use loose pressure, they will separate. But you do need to have both faces of the cards coated. The back of this card is completely clean. This has spray on it. So when these cards go like this, there is no attraction. They will separate. It's almost like there's nothing on the face of this card. It does need to be applied to two cards. If you want two cards to stay together, it needs to be applied to both cards. Whereas the roughing balm, these two cards are clean. If you want these two cards to stay together, all you need to do is get your roughing stick, apply a little bit of balm, say at the bottom. So when these cards are like this, if you spread at the bottom, applying a bit of pressure, they will stay together. If you apply pressure at the top where there is no balm, they will separate easily, not at the bottom, they will at the top. So if you wanted to force um, this three of spades, for instance, it would be on the top of the deck. This card could go in here. Right, just pick a card for me. Let's say they have this card. So you can put that card on top and then push it over and show the three of spades. Push it back over, applying pressure where the balm is. Flip it back over. You can now push off the top where there is no balm. Place it on the table. A magical gesture and that card has vanished and reappeared back on the top. Now you would not be able to do that with a roughing spray because the backs of every of every card would, well the face of every card would have to be sprayed to attract to this one top card if you know what I'm saying. So that is the main difference. Spray has to be applied to both cards that you want to work. Roughing balm can be applied just to a single card. Um, the only th thing with this is, because this has got roughing balm on it now, if this card was somewhere else in the deck, um, you would, you would, it would just stick to whatever card it's next to. So that three of hearts is stuck to that. The three of hearts is now stuck to the nine of spades because that's the way it works. It only needs to be applied to one card for it to stick to any other card. So I hope that's a little bit clearer for you, mate. Um, it's a lot easier to apply this stuff. I mean, you can apply it to certain parts of the deck of the cards, all of the card. If you were going to do it with a spray and you only wanted it in the corners, you'd have to mask off, tape off the whole of the card when you spray it. Um, if you're going to come up with a trick and you rub some roughing balm on a card and you think, oh shit, it's not in the right place. It's, it's not working how I want it to. Spin the card. And start again it's that simple uh, people have asked me where did I get this this Neo Inception this particular brand one is discontinued it's not available anymore but the only thing I can suggest is the Harry Robson roughing stick now I've never used it but I've seen a lot of people that have in the past so that's all I can suggest on the roughing. There are other roughing sticks like the Villain by Daniel Madison. It works to a point, but not like you want it to. It's not 100% bulletproof. So yeah, that's clear, mate. Roughing spray. Um, you did say about the invisible deck. If you want to make an invisible deck with roughing spray, you'd have to spray 52 cards. If you're going to make an invisible deck with roughing balm, you only need to do 26 cards. So that's a bit of a difference. So I do hope that's been a little bit helpful. I mean, I would go for the roughing balm if you can find a brand that's half decent because it's just so easy to apply. So uh, hope that's helpful, mate. Cheers.